Karen Chandler's son Connor pleaded guilty in his harassment case, but he escaped jail time just days after the birth of his son. Connor, 22, was arrested on January 11, 2020 and was charged with two counts of harassment against his mom Karen, who is Little People Big World star Matt Rolla's girlfriend. In May, he received two additional charges of attempted use of physical force or the threatened use of a deadly weapon, and did unlawfully and intentionally damage property, the property of Karen Chandler, as he pleaded not guilty to all at the time the charges were filed. The Sun can exclusively reveal Connor pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor criminal mischief on the day of his scheduled trial. The other three charges were dropped. The court papers read. On or about 11th of January 2020, did unlawfully and intentionally damage property, the property of Karen Chandler, the said defendant having no right to do so, nor reasonable grounds to believe that the said defendant had such right. Connor received 18 months of bench probation, which means he will be checking in with the judge and not a probation officer. He has also been ordered to complete 48 hours of community service and pay $200 in fees. He is to have no offensive touching with his mother. Connor has struggled to stay out of trouble since his arrest. In August 2020, a bench warrant was issued for his arrest when he failed to appear for his settlement conference. He was arrested on August 28th and released the same day. The Oregon Police Department that handled the arrest told the son he was busted while partying at a motel. The spokesperson for the department said, When we arrested him, he was checked into a motel. The front desk called stating the tenants were disruptive. They were partying, it sounds like. They were going in the lobby and were filming the front desk staff. They were asked to leave. There were a lot of people in the motel room. When we showed up, we ran everyone and he was in the room. He was arrested on the warrant. Connor previously told The Sun in October of the August arrest. I woke up to cops. I guess some random kids that showed up were giving the staff a hard time, I barely remember. They were pulling everyone out of the room because some kids got us kicked out. Drunk, obnoxious, loud, random kids, that's what happened. I gave them my name and they told me I had a warrant. I was so confused. They sent mail to the wrong address I'm legally not even allowed at, stating my court date changed so I didn't even know I had a warrant at that time. The charges should have been dropped last month. Then a warrant was issued for Connor's arrest after he missed his November 23rd court hearing for a status check. Connor turned himself in on November 30th after he was hit with a warrant for failing to appear in court. He previously told the son of his substance abuse battle, I was just another kid that partied in high school and one day after a party I had some Xanax left over. I took it. I realized how I felt and it kinda just snowballed from there. I didn't want to stop, I didn't see a reason to stop because I was high 24-7 off it. I thought everyone was the enemy so I denied any help offered which just led to my addiction taking away everything important I had in my life. Rehab never helped. I ended up getting clean after I turned 18 and on my own once I was off probation. It just happened. One day I was done, tired of living that life. I have friends that aren't here anymore because of pills, and I know it could have been different if they had gotten the right help the first time. He added that addiction took over his life. Connor continued, I'm glad it happened when I was a kid, that's when I can say. I was able to really learn before I truly started my future. I'm a good kid. I don't steal, I don't do drugs. I have good relationships with my family and friends. I go out on the weekend and work during the week like every other person. Despite the legal troubles, Connor has been on good terms with his mother, especially after he announced his girlfriend Ashley's pregnancy. Karen even threw them a gender reveal party, as Connor previously told The Sun. My mom hosted the reveal at her new house. The whole place was decorated and we had it in the backyard. It was brilliant and the baby news has really brought us closer together. She knew before everyone we were having a boy as she set everything up for us. She was so pleased. He said his mother is very excited for her first grandchild. Ashley gave birth to their son on August 22nd. Karen captioned a photo of the new addition. I'm a grandma. Sweet baby Liam Joseph Chandler arrived Sunday, August 22nd, two weeks early. A bouncing 6 pounds 12 ounces of pure joy. My heart is bursting. The closed case also comes days after Matt's ex-wife Amy Roloff married Chris Merrick on the family farm over the weekend. Matt and Karen stayed with friends on the Oregon coast during the nuptials. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.
please subscribe to stay tuned.